What's up, Hyper Fast Agent Nation? We have a special show for you today. I've got one of the listing agents on my team. This guy sells, I don't know how many homes a year. Like, like last year was what, like 60, 70? 70, yeah. 70 homes. Um, he's just a beast on, on the phone, on, on booking his own appointments, on taking team leads and running with it. Welcome to the show, Richard Yoon. Hello. Thanks, Dan. How's everybody doing? I uh, hope everybody is staying safe. Um, so yeah, a lot going a lot on. Going we, got on. A, we got a lot to talk about. Um, so I know there's probably a ton of agents out there that are that are scared and don't know what the market is going to do, and the sellers maybe feel the same way. Before we get into that, give us a little bit of background uh, about who you are, how you got into real estate. How you ended up here? So, I've uh, been in real estate business for probably around six years now. Um, I started off in the uh, service industry, so my sympathy goes out to everybody right now, small businesses. Um, took a chance and a leap of faith to get into real estate. Um, been with a different brokerage for um, quite some time. Uh, love what I do, uh, using my people skills. Um, Connecting with uh, clients is always uh, something I've always done. Um, and then in the last, uh, I believe it was two years ago, um, you had approached me about um, a position available, more of an opportunity. And um, we met and had coffee. And I think after that, the rest was history. The rest uh, was history. rest was definitely history. And then... Sales went... I literally, my first year with the team and um, the numbers, a lot of people say 10x, 10x. My business literally 10x. Um, you know, I went from, um, I don't know, like three or four million, and I literally went all the way up to um, 20, 30 million. That's I mean, lot. yeah, it was just <laughs> amazing. Um, the systems, uh, the culture that we had with the team. Uh, couldn't have been any happier. Um, and that's what led to the success, the desire and the drive was um, just everybody around, you know, like-minded individuals that we were all working with. And um, it's just been amazing and I wouldn't have changed it. And I'm so grateful and have so much gratitude towards uh, Carrie Shell team and uh, the hyper fast agent. Um, it literally has changed my life. So I couldn't be more happier. Um, so that's why I'm so uh, committed and dedicated to helping um, my clients and anybody on the team. Yeah. No, we appreciate you. Yeah, the absolutely. Little, the little Corona bump. Yeah. Um, so you're, you're, you've you been a top agent with us now yes. for two years, uh, or one of the top agents, doing huge volume. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you seeing in the market now? Well, up until the, uh, the coronavirus, the COVID-19, um, the market has just been um, craziness, um, especially in the D.C. metro area. We've had um, multiple offers, um, being on the listing side. Um, it's just been, the market has been really healthy um, with the inventory shortage, uh, interest rates um, being at an all-time low. Um, so the market has been fantastic. I know we've uh, all been saying January is the new April. You know, spring has already sprung, which is true in our market. Yeah, so we, that's we what had we've a big been January, big February. Absolutely. Uh, um, we've even had a big uh, March. Yeah, I mean, even since Corona yes. broke, uh, we've been we've been doing a lot of a lot of deals, and um, you know, if, if they go into a lockdown area, that could that could that could shift, right? If, Absolutely. If you can't physically leave your home, if it, if if Americans actually put up with that, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'll see. I, I think it's it's different here than other countries because of how we value freedom and, and personal mm -hmm. liberty. So I don't know how long that will last if it does. But if it if it does, that's going to present challenges to to agents, right? I mean, there's agents right. all over the country. They don't have the benefit of the DC market propping up jobs no matter what, right? Because we all know, you know, the, the, the mid-level and up jobs here that are supported by the government, like, those aren't going away. They'll probably grow, if anything. Right. 
Uh, so what, we, what would you say to those agents who are in other markets that, you know, might be going through times when, their, you know, their, their unemployment in their town really, really goes up, even for their, their core clientele? Yeah, I mean, that's a tough one. Yeah. Um, I mean, my heart goes out to everyone, uh, not just the agents, but uh, going through this difficult times when it's uncertainty, right? Uh, we don't know what's going to happen or what's going to uh, evolve with this uh, coronavirus. So, um, I mean, I guess that what you could do is uh, just keep pushing. And um, when you're at home, working from home, is just uh, keeping on a schedule. Yeah. Um, not slacking and not um just That's a good one an opportunity for you to uh slack this is an opportunity for you to stay at home um what i've been doing is um a lot of follow-up is being uh taken care of right now yeah uh, i'm on the phones constantly uh like i wish i can <laughs> i mean literally the phone is glued to my ear is i'm just um talking with all the clients sympathizing and making sure um, we're aligned on uh, what's going on and um, Yeah, now's now's not the time to back off like if anything you're gonna have to Pedal to the metal because right. your, your existing pipeline you want to close them out you want to Listen to them more and there's gonna be more of that because they're scared and, and so you got to deal with that but you can't just do that only and then ignore the future because even if we go on lockdown if it's two weeks four weeks mm -hmm. 60 days who knows if you ignore that future pipeline there's there's some other agent out there that's not right, right? there's some Absolutely. other agent that's calling expireds because there's gonna be a lot of expireds mm -hmm. if 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 we go on total lockdown right um there could be a lot of expireds and someone's gonna be hitting them up and uh you know someone's gonna be reaching out to past clients soi getting online making videos right and that person is going to get a lot of business in right. 60 days when, when all that pent-up demand is going to be mm -hmm. released or, or whenever it is. I, you know, we don't know. Yeah, I mean... Uh, How are you sticking to the schedule? What are you doing specifically? Well, um, just sticking to the schedule is in the mornings, um, sticking with my calls, sticking with uh, follow-up, uh, sticking with uh, reaching out to our current clients. And, um, are you documenting on, on social media? Am I documenting on social yeah, media? Yeah, like, like, hey, it's Richard. I'm here making calls today. If you're, if you're, want someone to talk to, real estate or whatever, mm -hmm. let me know. Like, okay, you... that's one thing I haven't been doing. Yeah, is um, I haven't been documenting on social media uh, as much as I would love to. Um, it's just more about maintaining um, the current pipeline, um, working on the current pipeline. And yeah, no, I would, I will say you are one of the. Uh, one of the best at this, at the tugboat strategy, right? Okay. So there's two ways to get a, two ways to get a, a ship into the harbor, right? Mm -hmm. You can be the tugboat. That works pretty damn well, mm -hmm. right? I used to be on submarines. I, we couldn't have got into the, some of the harbor's uh, ports without the tugboat. The other way, right? And, and so this is finding it, getting it, and bringing it to where you want, like like calling those prospects, right? Mm -hmm. Calling those leads. The other way is the lighthouse, right? The lighthouse stays in one spot, puts out light, shows the ships where to come, gets them to come to them. So that's, uh, you know, this this is your marketing, your social media posts, your videos, your you know, your all your kind of outbound stuff. Like, hey, look at me, I'm here, ready to do business. So. Um, you know, uh, no one probably that I know does does this better than you. So, right. so let's add this element, right? Yeah, and absolutely. And all you agents out there, you need to you need to do both, right? You need to be the tugboat and the lighthouse. What else? What else are you doing on, on daily routine? Like, how are you uh, going for walks? Or <laughs> obviously, gyms are closed. Yeah, gyms are closed. Um, I have actually. I have still been going on my daily routine as far as, I mean, I, I, I'm still going on some client visits yeah. uh, like today. Um, you know, I'm here in the office. Um, I have uh, another final walkthrough 
uh, and being very uh, mindful and respectful of the social distance, distancing and um, just making sure, keeping safe on both sides. And um, so I'm still traveling around. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I am keeping active on that end. Yeah, and one, one thing we're doing a lot more of now, and, and uh, I'm sure we'll start seeing the results soon, but we're giving our, our team the ability to do meetings with new clients on Zoom. Listing That's appointments, correct. buyer appointments yes. on Zoom. We're, we've set up these virtual funnels, too, mm -hmm. where we highlight that. Like, uh, this is one here. They put in their address and spits them out a range of a home value and then you can get on zoom and they can be on their phone and like actually walk around and show you the home if, if that's how the first meeting has to go like so you got to mm -hmm. think of ways to adapt right yeah absolutely and zoom has been uh fantastic right uh we've been uh you utilizing zoom uh we did our uh, team meeting where we had uh 60 60 70 agents all on zoom um, I know the coordinators and um, our managing listing managing partners uh, every morning uh, at 930. They do their um, uh, meetings on Zoom as well. So um, I've had the opportunity to do one listing appointment on Zoom um, because um, the client was uh, wasn't very comfortable about. How did that how did that go? Uh, that went fantastic. Did I it? mean, yeah, we got the listing. All right, uh, so virtual the, appointment uh -huh. for the win. And um, I know the uh, client was kind of um, hesitant because she was like, I'm really not comfortable right now about meeting with anybody. I don't want them in my home. And I said, I completely understand. So why don't we set up kind of like a Zoom meeting? And she didn't know what that was. And I told her, it's very simple. I'm just going to go ahead and send you a link. <laughs> and she clicked on the link. Uh, we connected. Uh, we went through um, some of the comps and uh, the condition of her home, um, and we ended up going ahead and signing that one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You, mm -hmm. can, you can share a screen, mm -hmm. show them, walk through the comps, do your yeah. presentation, and they Everything. can show you their house. Mm -hmm. So is she waiting until uh, Corona ends? or She wants to wait for a, a, a few two weeks. Okay. I mean, um, and recently I signed another listing without uh, even going into the house. Yeah. Um, that's happening a lot. Um, I know in one of the team meetings, uh, I kind of got snagged or stuck on the listing because I was like, I don't recall this listing that just came up. But and then I just realized that I never went to the house. So it's possible to implement, you know, your systems and your marketing on how you're going to be able to sell it. Um, and that was definitely one of one of three that I was able to sign without actually going into the house yet. What's What's your biggest piece of advice right now to agents that are, you know, just unsure of things? Um, I mean, we're all unsure of everything right now. Um, biggest advice is uh, everyone's just, everyone's in the same boat. Everybody's in the same boat. Um, we all are. I mean, it is frightening, and we just don't know what's going to happen. And that's the most uh, scariest part is not knowing, right? Uncertainty is so. Um, just taking it day by day and just keep pushing and not falling off of that schedule. Um, this isn't the time to just fall out and kind of panic and wait and just, uh, just stay on that schedule and take it day by day. And, um, you know, having family and friends and fellow agents and being able to talk with them on what's going on. All right. Are you ready for the hyper fast round? I am. All right. All right. Short answers. What is your biggest success story on a deal ever? Biggest success story on a deal. Short answers, right? Yeah. In a couple sentences. Let's go um, hyper fast. So it's because I uh, work a lot into um, expires and withdrawals. So all my success stories are uh, families that were in a situation where they needed to sell um, and it homes were on the market for up to a year or two years and we were able to implement our strategies and able to sell the home within the first 30 days so that's probably my most success stories is um being able to get them to their goal all right biggest all right. uh biggest challenge you've ever had could be anything too it could be anything right um the biggest challenge is probably right now <laughs> yeah, that's my challenge. We're in it. The the biggest challenge is right now. 
And, um, you know, I have a few deals that um, a lot of the clients on the list side and the buy side, and there's a lot of technical things, but just getting through this, the challenge is right now. So what's, what's your biggest piece of advice uh, to an agent who's got a, you know, just hold, ha, holding deals together right now? Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your strategy, your advice there? Um, you know, just sympathize and work with your client. Yeah. And um, again, not trying to um, stay strong, not trying to use a script or, or um, trying to give them a solution. It's more like just maintaining and respecting the, uh, the client's wishes on, on times like this. Yeah. You know, I, I'm sympathetic and I want to just work with the seller on my side. And, you know, if they don't want it, like just recently one of my sellers said, hey, I'm not comfortable with doing an open house. I said, I completely understand. We'll go ahead and cancel it. I'm not trying to um, object, you know, handle it as an objection or anything like that. Just sympathize and um, and even even do what right you now, have. even if even if whatever their concern is, uh, you know, even if you think it's like coming out of left field or not logical, like the feelings are real, the emotions mm -hmm. they feel are absolutely. Real, so you have to validate that. Yeah, and, and like really, no one knows. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. Uh, biggest piece of advice to a new agent if they're starting out in this market right now? Mm -hmm. um, lead generate. Yeah, hit the phones. Hit the phones. Uh, you have to hit the phones. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be the phones. Yeah. That's just the best way to do it, where you can cover much ground. I mean, there's so many ways. Especially uh, now. Right? There's phones, there's uh, door knocking, there's flyers, but whatever you need to do is for new agents in any type of market, whether it's now this type of market or slower markets or whatever market you're in, um, it's all about building your pipeline and lead generating. That's your, to me, that's your job as an agent is to lead generate. Lead generate. All right, you guys heard it from one of the top listing agents that, that, that we've ever had on the the team and that you know probably one of the top anywhere uh, so thanks for being on the show Richard thanks, Dan. appreciate it and look forward to having you on again and if you guys uh, want to connect with Richard what's your social media how do they find you um, we're on Instagram. My handle is um, Rich underscore Sony. Underscore? You make us do the underscores. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. All right, Rich underscore Sony on Instagram. Or you can just reach me on through uh, the Hyperfast agent as well. All right. Thanks for being on the show. Do another Thank little you, Dan. bump. All right. We'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Hyper Fat Show. Subscribe to us if you want to make sure you get the latest and greatest Hyper Fat Shows. And remember, we love reviews. Reviews help us bring better and better guests and improve our shows. So give us the good, the bad, and the ugly. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we will see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you want to see more, click right here. And if you want 100 real estate tips from my best-selling book, click right here to download them instantly. And if you're new to this channel, click below to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out. And leave some comments about what you think on the videos. I read them all each week and I select winners to give out hats, shirts, coaching calls with me, and tickets to some of our events. I'll see you next time.